field. Yeah, there was a lot of draws to this. And um, I think as you go through these, you know, we had success the last three years at Troy, and, and jobs come open, and you're always looking for the best fit. And, and I really believe that you always end up in the jobs you're supposed to be in. So this job was, was the job that, that probably – uh, not only myself, but Brooke and our kids was the most natural fit. Um, having the experience in this league, um, the leadership we have at West Virginia with Gordon Gee and Shane Lyons, um, the geographic fit for me and my family. Um, Brooke's family and my family both still in Danville, uh, so about five hours away. Um, and so, and then the tradition of the program was a huge draw too. And the fact that in the state of West Virginia, I knew about the fan base, very passionate, and only Power 5 school in that state. Yeah, well, Morgantown's obviously a lot bigger than my hometown of Danville, but the really the cultures of the state are, are, are very, very similar. Um, Appalachian background, um, you know, no professional sports in either state. Um, both the people in West Virginia and in Kentucky are very prideful, uh, very humble, hardworking, blue-collar approach. So I think that relatability has been beneficial during the first six, seven months here. We've came in, and, and you've heard me say this, is I think the the at two different spots now, at Troy and then at West Virginia, the thing that we've done as we've gone into these programs is, is just listen. You know, and I think one of the things that I think leaders make mistakes sometimes when they immediately go in and just try to fix it and change and do things, I think you got to get an understanding, you know. So you got to understand who the people are, you know, what's the organizational structure, you know, what things have gone well, what things need to improve on. Um, and so we did, we listened, um, and now we're, we're going about over the last four or five months really putting in the foundation of what we want our program to be. And we, want to, we want to build a program that's sustainable for the foreseeable future. You know, we talk about three goals all the time, developing men, number one, graduating and placing them, number two, number three is winning, and, and doing that over a long term. And what's winning mean? Winning means in the month of November that you're competing for conference championships. And we want to be able to do that on an annual basis, and if we're doing that on an annual basis, then we're going to win our share and have an opportunity to play here at some point.